private banking, predictions about the future of Swiss banks 2018. A very famous and controversial article in the Financial Times of December 11, 2017 entitled The Decline of the Swiss Private Bank has offended the Swiss private banking industry. The Financial Times attacked the Swiss banks to be death and out of business after the abolishment of the Swiss bank secrecy. A stereotypical bombardment followed as a shitstorm in the comment section. Switzerland is the capital of criminal tax evasion. Swiss banks are attracting the money of corrupt politicians. Switzerland is the world's money laundering machine. Swiss banks are useless and much more of such nonsense. That's not true. The negative presentation is an insult and must be corrected. I show you the fast resurrection of Swiss banks after the black money crisis. I will give you hard facts and figures. I reveal you the miracle of Swiss private banking and I will predict about the future of the Swiss private banking industry. Stay tuned. Caputo and Partners, SwissBankingLawyers.com. We fight for your money. Hi, I am Enzo Caputo, the owner of the boutique law firm Caputo & Partners and the founder of SwissBankingLawyers.com, the place where successful international business people find battle-proof tips and battle-proof solutions to protect their assets and invest their money wisely with Swiss banks. The Swiss banks have recovered surprisingly quickly from the financial crisis 2008 and from the tax evasion scandals. Last year, Swiss banks have gained and even already supersede the level before the crisis in 2008. Why? There is no credible alternative to Switzerland as a financial center for asset protection in times of political turbulence. Which financial center can compete with Switzerland? Let's investigate together. Singapore? Do you really believe that a high net worth individual will deposit his bankable assets with a bank located in a small state on a rock in South China Sea, where political unrest can break out in the region at any time? In a country without own portable water? Singapore cancelled. United Arab Emirates. You think that maybe Dubai is an alternative and bring the money in a bank in the city in the desert like Dubai? where internet is censored and the dynasties of the sheikhs can introduce Sharia law overnight in a place where certain types of investments are not possible? Dubai eliminate. Hong Kong. Maybe in a bank in a democratic state like Hong Kong, dominated by powerful China? Hong Kong eliminated. European Union. Or maybe in a bank in a heavily indebted state of the European Union? where you are no longer sure whether the bank account will be confiscated by the government overnight, as in Cyprus in 2013, or in a country like France, where Christine Lagarde, the former Minister of Finance, proposed to confiscate 10% of all bank accounts to restore Europe's financial situation. European Union eliminated. What is the unique selling proposition for private banking made in Switzerland? The continuity and the reliability are unique. Switzerland exists since 1291. That's 700 years of continuity. The neutrality, the economic and the political stability of Switzerland are unbeatable security benefits based on which Switzerland wins the favor of international investors. Since 2017, Swiss banks have had the same amount of assets under management as they had before the financial crisis in 2008. Assets under management in the UK do not even reach 50% of the amount of Swiss banks. In the Scorpio Partnership 2017 private banking benchmark list of the 25 largest private banking banks, five Swiss banks are among the top 25 banks worldwide. The Swiss banks ranked position number 1, 6, 11, 14 and 20 while the United Kingdom has only one bank in position 17. If you like this video, press the like button and hit the bell. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel to not miss any future video. The Financial Times says the bank fees are too high for large assets 
The fees of Swiss private banks are negotiable. We always negotiate the fees for our customers, not only for large assets. It's our habit and our job to represent the interests of the client first. As you can see, the argument of high fees in Switzerland does not apply. The Financial Times argue with bloodletting due to the escape of tax dodgers. The tremendous money outflow extensively illustrated by the media after the tax self-disclosure of the tax dodger is simply not true. It's a pure exaggeration by the media. Many small and very small customers have withdrawn their money, but not the big ones. The Swiss banks, such as UBS and Credit Suisse, have deliberately closed small accounts under 1 million francs. The compliance efforts have become too expensive. It is estimated based on surveys that around 70% of legalized funds have remained with Swiss banks. Some of my Italian clients who repatriated their money with banks in Italy following the Italian voluntary disclosure returned to Switzerland. Too sloppy was the private banking service in Italy. In addition, the political uncertainties in Italy have not diminished. Since the financial crisis in 2008, the number of billionaires has more than doubled to date. The number of millionaires has increased tenfold over the same period. Such growth rates are usually only known for Silicon Valley. The increase in wealth takes place all over in all countries where sympathy with Switzerland is particularly pronounced, as in Asia, India and Africa. Due to the colonial past of these countries, they prefer Switzerland over the financial centers that had colonies. There is little sympathy for former colonial states. Few of my older clients who came from these emerging market regions have confirmed to me in a confidential conversation. High net worth individuals from Asia, India and Africa have no affinities with the egocentric American style of banking mentality. What's in it for me today? They prefer the fine art of Swiss banking offering high prestige and exclusivity. The USP of Swiss private banking has reduced due to the tax transparency, the OECD automatic exchange of information, but it still offers the world's best asset protection against political uncertainty and turbulence. Strong currency with Swiss francs, multi-currency accounts, no financial centers show such a track record based on professional experience with multiple currencies, multiple jurisdictions and multiple languages, except Zurich and Geneva. They appreciate the political and economic stability advantages of the Swiss financial center because they know the risk of living in dangerous countries. Simultaneously, with the visit of the bank, high net worth individuals and its family members are happy to combine a stay in a Swiss luxury clinic or private hospital or send their children to one of the best private schools in the world. For the reasons outlined, it is no surprise that UBS by far has the largest amount of billionaires and ranks at the top of other banks by high net worth individuals and ultra high net worth individuals. The smaller Swiss private banks, however, are constantly expanding their share of the big cake. The sophisticated customers from Europe are no longer advertised by the banks. Rather, Swiss banks prefer investing their marketing budget with the emerging markets. If you like this information, if you want to make sure to not miss any future episode, press the subscribe button now and subscribe our channel. If you know another jurisdiction for banking, post a comment indicating the benefits of the banking jurisdiction you are familiar with. If you agree with me that Switzerland is the best place in the world for international business and banking, show it to me and post a comment saying that you agree with me. If you don't agree with me or if you have a question, use the comment section below. I will answer all of your questions within 24 hours. If you have a private and confidential question, if you want to open a Swiss private bank account, grab your mobile phone now and dial 0041442124404. It's never too early to protect your money with Swiss banks. Be rich and stay rich. Have a fantastic day.